They should. Uh, Chase does every day. Ryan should be Ryan's going to be all right. I don't make any sense. Try you know, popping the battery out, put it back in. You have to do your way and fail, and you start listening. You know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, you have children. You have children. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are But uh, usually, probably around, probably around, uh, I would say, around 2:15, guys start coming in here in the cage. And we have uh, early hitting at three at three uh, and uh, our regular batting practice starts around four forty. We'll get started with our day. It's Coach Williams. I'm just gonna give you a, a few quick pointers if you listen. You might be able to take it home and then your kids you can help your kids with it and it might work. Okay? Very simple. Starting point, for most young players, I like to use this corner of the plate right here for the front foot. Because what happens is if you don't have a starting point, you get in here, you might start here, but by the time that that's over, you're all over the place in here. Because the batter's box is huge, you know? So this is the starting point. When you come here, I'm gonna say starting point, right up here, front foot, okay? Now I'm gonna give you three commands. The first thing is you have to relax. You gotta be relaxed in here. You can't come in here. It's not gonna work. Relax. It's relax, step, and then throw. Attack the ball with your hands, okay? Good. You can tell them about, the, about your hands. A couple other things. Okay. Yeah. Now, how, how, how do you hold the bat? How do you hold the bat? Where do you hold the bat? You hold the bat where you would get calluses. Out of the yard. <laughs> Back in my day, I got help. Some of you girls certainly, I think, have been out in the yard working, whatever. If you plant flowers or whatever, clean, you know, pull weeds, whatever, you'll get them. So you, you want to put the bat right in here. You don't want to push it down in the hollow. That's a slow bat. That's a fast bat. That's a minor league bat. That speed. That's a major league bat. Speed. Both hands. There. See, they always say, well, you should line your knuckles up. That's wrong. Actually, your, your knuckles are going to be in between. So really, over like that is not right, and way over here like this is not right. You want to be natural and relax, not forced and impinged, which is the next thing I'm going to talk about, about where you hold the bat in this area here. So you want to, you want to put it in there. That'll give you a fast bat. The second thing I want to say is, for those of you who have children that play Little League Baseball, girls, boys, whatever, you will hear fans, and maybe you are guilty yourself, saying, get your elbow up. Have you heard that? 100% wrong. <laughs> no, wrong. Really, your elbow wants to be right here. What happens when you put it up here is it pushes the bat down in the hollow. To make it slow. That's uncomfortable. Natural, relaxed, forced, and impinged. That's slow because it'll push it down here. So you want you want to just have it in this area right in here. You will see a lot of these guys out here that have their elbows up. They've been brainwashed since they were youngsters, <laughs> and fortunately, they have the hand-eye, the skill level that it works for them now because they've repeated it so many times. But if you have a youngster, not many of them are going to make it. But you give them a better chance here than you do here. Now, if you're going to go here, then you have to go here. Because that's natural. I can still hold it there. And then you drop it when you hit. Here, it's fine. Elbows up. No. Yes. In here. And when you swing, Milt will show you, you turn your back side. You gotta use your booty. <laughs> See, watch my back foot. Watch my back foot. In some some cases they say it squashed a bug or something. Maybe you've heard that. But you gotta turn on your backside. 
You don't hit like this. That's a slow bat. That helps to keep fast. Turn on your backside. So you end up in this position right here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, he was talking about, you have to have what, he, what I call is a reverse V. Reverse V is right here. You've got to take your hands to hit the ball. He's talking about the guys in the big leagues that have the elbow up, they have their hands higher. So they have this reverse V so they can attack the ball with their hand. Okay? Most of the little league kids are telling them to get their elbow up, their hands are down here. They're in bad shape. Because you have to drop your elbow yes. to hit. You can't hit here. When you swing, you have to do this anyway. So if you have to do this anyway, why not start here? You eliminate a movement. You gonna hit one, Bill? I'm gonna hit one, but right here. <laughs> you're gonna, from you over, you're with me. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing, you have to have confidence. You gotta know you can hit, right here. Starting point, relaxed, step. First one, who's first, come on. Okay.